Hey, it's Larry Lurcy. Welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about hue saturation. How to use it to adjust colors in an image, whether that's completely changing a color or just making slight modifications. And we'll show you how to do it in a way that you still have control over it after you make those changes. So if you change your mind later, you still have the flexibility to do that. So we'll jump into Photoshop. You can see what we're talking about. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you about how you can find out even more Photoshop information in some other tutorials. And with that, it's time for the intro. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and we're going to work on this portrait here of this model in this red dress. And I'm going to show you hue saturation how you can do slight adjustments or drastic adjustments to your image. You can access it up here under Image, Adjust, Hue Saturation. That's one way to get to it. We're not going to do it that way. We're going to do the better way. We're going to do it here as an adjustment layer. Now, if you don't know how to use adjustment layers, I did a whole tutorial on it. I will put a link to that in the description. You make sure you go watch that one next. But for now, I will try to explain as we go along the basics, but we're going to click on this little circle and we're going to come down and choose Hue Saturation. So it's the exact same thing, but instead of doing it to this layer, we're doing it basically above this layer so that we still have the original intact if we decide we want to go back later. So it's much more flexible. So it's going to bring up these properties and one of the things you'll see up top is like you have in so many areas of Photoshop is the presets. So if you just want to basically increase the saturation a little bit, you want to go through and do this old style where it's kind of faded, maybe a, a sepia tone. Those presets are all in there, but I don't know that they're super useful. We're going to go back to default. What we're going to concentrate on is these three sliders and then working down here as well. The first one is hue, and this is going to shift the entire image. If we slide this along basically toward the blue, we're going to make the image more blue. We're just adding blue across the board. Everything is going to shift and we can keep going through all the colors. And it's going to change the color of the dress, the color of her skin, the background, the entire thing is going to change. It's generally not super helpful. The only time it's really helpful is if you're trying to maybe move something a little bit more blue and you would just come and you could tweak it that way. Um, but by itself, not super helpful. Saturation is how much saturation, how much color there is in it. So uh, one option is to go all the way to the left and you're basically turning it into a black and white image or all the way to the right and it just gets more and more kind of cartoonish as the colors get more and more saturated and um, can really get into trouble fast with the oversaturation. Lightness is just basically how light or dark it is as we move toward the dark side here. Images get darker and darker until it goes to black. Same thing this way, lighter and lighter until it turns to white. Let's go back here to reset everything. So those, those are the basic tools. If you're just going in to make slight adjustments, give it a little more contrast, shift the color a little bit, lighten or darken a little bit, you can do all those right here. But the much more fun way of using this is to go in and use it specifically on a color. Let's say we, we photographed her in this red dress and we kind of don't like that it's a red dress. We wish we had chosen a different color. Well, what we can do is go up here to Master, choose Red, and now it's only looking at the reds in the image. So what you would do is you'd come up here to Hue and you could start shifting it around. But the problem is you will see that not only is the dress red, but there is red in the skin tones, red in the background. And so we're still kind of getting this overall shift which is not the look we want. Reset again. So what we're going to do is choose red and then we're going to come down here to this eyedropper. And once we've clicked it we're going to choose kind of a mid red. We don't want a dark shadow and I don't necessarily want one of these kind of super bright highlights. I'm going to pick kind of a mid-tone here like that. Now we're telling Photoshop these adjustments we're about to make I only want to affect these reds. And then when we come up here and start shifting around, you can see the background isn't changing at all. 
it's just the dress. You're getting a slight shift. There's a little bit of reds up in here, and like for example, her lips uh, will shift because they're kind of pink, her lipstick. But that's all things we can go back and mask out later if we don't like them. But um, you can come through, make the dress that color, back to the red, green. It really gives us the crazy lips. But let's say you decide you want to go with this blue color. Make the dress blue. Then we can again go back with the saturation. We can make it super rich blue. All the way down to where it's just a gray dress. A slight bit of blue. We could darken the dress. Lighten the dress. And again, we're basically only affecting these reds that we've selected. Now again, we're leaking out in the lips a little bit. Let's reset. I'm going to show you a way that you can fine-tune it a little bit more. So what you would do, again, we would pick reds. And you'll notice this bar down here. And what this is doing, I'm going to try to make it a little bit bigger, is it's saying we're going to take this color and make it this color. And this is what we're working with, the center section, is the color it's looking at. These sections are where it's going to taper off. So the bigger this bar is, the wider, the more general red it's going to pick up. The smaller it is, the more specific, down to just a very specific shade of red. And then the, the longer these bars are, the more it will taper off. It won't just drastically say, these reds were affecting, these were not. That can lead to some really odd looking stuff. But we can go ahead and narrow this down a tiny bit, like that. And then we don't need that much feathering, so we'll bring that about like that. Now we'll go again here and start moving the hue. And we're not getting as much lip effect there. I think that's definitely doing not as much to the background either. And you go through and you decide what color you want the dress to be. And there you go. If you're really trying to do it the right way, you would probably go through and make a selection of this and then go in and make all these adjustments through hue saturation. But this is kind of just a quick way that you can preview what it would look like. And again, you could go back later and just mask out these lips and things, or any other areas that you noticed that um, the color was shifting. Or for that matter, you could uh, basically put a mask that you only let the dress show through. And then you, w once you had made that selection, you wouldn't have to worry about uh, color spilling over into other areas. But once you've narrowed it down, either through a mask or dialing it in through here, then it's just a matter of going through, like I said, changing that color to what color you want it to be, adjusting the saturation till it looks right, maybe darken it a touch, and you can put her in a whole completely different looking dress. So it really is a powerful tool using this hue saturation, and again, because we've put it in its own adjustment layer over here, we've got the power one just to turn it off. Also, we've got the power to come back in later, pull it back up, and go ahead and make changes. Say, you know what, now I've decided we want it to be a, a green dress. And you go through and make whatever changes you want that way. So it really is pretty powerful. And if you play around and experiment with it, I think you will find you can create some very interesting effects. And there you have it, hue saturation. Really is pretty simple to use, and if you do it with an adjustment layer, you really have a lot of flexibility afterwards. If you'd like to learn more about adjustment layers, or Photoshop in general, I've got a playlist that will pop up, and you can go to that and watch a whole bunch of videos just like this on little bite-sized pieces of Photoshop tips. I sure hope that helped. If it did, please like and subscribe and hit the bell so you'll know when any new content comes out. Really is appreciated, and I hope I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.